Hello everybody and welcome back to Altenstein, our little map here. I've skipped some more time. There's like nothing to do. <laughs> I sat here for a good hour. I was like, that's not a good video. Uh, I just kind of run around the farm for literally an hour. So yeah, we skipped till the first day of autumn. And let's see here what we have to do. I've been taking care of the animals, just kind of keeping them up. We lost all of our grass that we made. We, I mean, I tried to take it and give it to them, and it would go. Well, like I used one bell. Okay, they were full. We had three bells, I think it was. It was, and tried to. Well, no, that was hay bells. So fast forward to the next day, going to take care of them again. Gone. So yeah, that is where we're at with the animals. They're decent. Um, we're gonna have to cut some grass and somehow store it. I don't know how to store it because it's deteriorating itself and then it goes bye bye so yeah let's see where we're at field two is ready to go i spent some time with the fellow farmer here and went through all of his fields that way we weren't broke because i wasn't having any kind of income so just really quickly went over all his stuff and did it really quick uh, fertilized field 16, ran out of stuff right here. Uh, field 18 is done, field 13 is done, 2 is completely done, 22 is kind of done. Uh, the overlay here is from the spreader for doing field 21. I don't know why it was so wide. I went around this corner. I was like, Pfft. so that is that. This is ready to cut again. We could actually cut it. That's not a big deal, but let's go ahead, seeing how it's very early in the morning. And we have never, ever, ever, ever used this. Get it fired up and ready to go. And I'm already stuck on some barrels. Oh yeah. Wouldn't, this is high quality content right here. What am I, really? Only the best quality content. I'll get one of the other tractors to bring it over to field two, but we're going to go ahead and harvest it as long as it's not wet and it shows that it's good to go. You know, one thing really quickly I did not check was the hay bales or straw bales. I'm sorry. Are they still here? Yes. How much do they have left? They've lost 140 liters, so that is kind of an issue. I do like the look of this thing. It just looks nice. Very big, very in charge, very hard to see where you're actually at. Even inside, it's uh, it's very big. <laughs> bulky for for being tiny, it's very very bulky. Alright, yeah, this is field two, so we'll do it here in just a second. I'll go back and get the header and its trailer, and I'll be right back. <clears throat> I figured I'd use the Valmet to bring it over. It is still my favorite tractor. I kind of wish we had a little bit bigger one. I've been thinking about replacing this one with the 604, the four-wheel drive one. Uh, it should be a little bit heavier and would help our front nosiness, but... I'll probably do that after the snow ended and everything like that. I do like this one. It's kind of janky, but been really, really good to us. What way does this pick up? Okay, I need to be on this side. You're kind of lined up. Oop. Just a little bit. Right there should be good enough. Let's move this up here out of the way. Okay, now this shouldn't take any time at all really what is this field I can't even remember is this canola yes it is
get positioned here. This is very hard to drive from out here. <laughs> it's so nice though. Like I, I love things with like little details. Like how the little dots here for the vents, like they actually have some depth to them. You can see all the injectors, uh, like the lines coming off the injector pump. You know, it's just stuff like that that actually makes a mod. And I've never used this, so I don't know what. Is it ready to go? Okay. And we don't have a tipper trailer, we only have the car fan. Whoa, what are them? Whoa, what is that? Oh, it automatically put on all this stuff. That's sweet. I don't think we'll get very much from this field, but... I like this. Very nice. Oh, missing, missing some bits. Swing it. Yeah, this field isn't that big anyway, so. Not an awful lot to get in the first place. But it is something that we haven't done on this map. We haven't harvested anything yet. So, this is, you know, a nice change. I'm okay with nice little changes. I think if we get, you know, 4,000 liters out of this field, I think we won, really. I think we'll be quite alright. Don't ask me why I didn't cut a headwind there, but it'll be okay. So I'm going to have to back back on uh, some of the video output. I was trying to do one a day, and if you watched the Upton Farm video from yesterday, I explained that one little thing that goes wrong means no video and very, very late videos for like the next couple days. So, yeah, this kind of not been a fun day. Uh, still trying to get caught back up ahead. This one might come out at 5 o'clock this evening, if I'm lucky. Uh, it's, I'm just not having very much luck, so... I'm probably going to have to cut back on some of the days that I put out videos. Or they're going to have to be extremely short, or you know something like that, because... Playing like I play, and trying to do all the content that I try to do, you know, I, I spend two to three hours on every video and just playing the game uh, and then it takes a few hours for it to code after about an hour to edit so yeah it's not been it's not been a fun time it takes some time oh, are we? Oh. 
We're not going to hit 4K, but this is like a 0.3 heck acre field, if that. So can't even be remotely mad at that. But canola is a high, high, high dollar crop, so we're going to see what it's worth here in just a second. Okay, we got 3,400 liters thereabout. Not even remotely upset about that. So we'll go ahead and turn this off, lift the header up, put the header back on the trailer. Did I turn it off? There it goes. I thought I'd turn it off. Doesn't look very well on there, does it? Okay, I'm going to take the header and put it up. Go ahead and put the pipe out. We'll let the harvester run for a bit. And we'll take that mat and put the header up. Okay, so we got the header put up in our shed there, and I'm going to grab the car pan, and we're going to unload that load of canola from the harvester. And I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name of the harvester, because I can't. It's like, ish. Yeah, it's something. <laughs> it's, it's something that's not pronounceable by myself. Okay, I've never put this much weight on the back of the valve mat. So we're going to see how well it takes it. Not too far away. It's going to go back there. What, uh, what seems to be the issue? There it goes. Fill rate's pretty good. I think the Valmet can hold all this. Yeah, I can hold all this. Wow, it doesn't even look like it's full. Uh, shut down this guy. Or, well, yeah, we'll shut him down right now. So, where can we sell this? Where is the thing I'm looking for? Right here. Goldcrest Pacific Grain for 500 for a thousand liters. That's not the best in the world, now, is it? When is the best time to sell this? Oh, uh, is right around there. We're kind of in a lull. It'll go up every day. So let's go park this. I'll come back for the valve mat here in just a second. And we're going to store that in our silo. And we'll come back and get it. Put it in the silo. I don't think we'll sell it just yet. There's no reason to. We're sitting okay on money. We're not going to go broke. We just got to make a plan for what we're going to do next. And I have a decent idea for what I want to do. Because I like the smaller size. But some of the fields are just too little. So I've been thinking about expanding them after we harvest them. I think field two will be our lovely little guinea pig. Because we don't need as much grassland as what we have. We don't have that many animals. Right there, that'll do us. 
I'll go get the vomit and I'll be right back. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and tip this into our silos to keep for a minute or three. Backed up here. And dump. Okay, I'm gonna take our old plow, the one that we have. Uh, it's only used for cutting in fields. Like if we want to make a new field. I'm going to get a little bit different one because what I'm about to do, I need maximum control over what I want to do. So, and I think everybody knows I can't drive one of these bastards to save my life. I keep messing them up. They're off center, blah, 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 blah. So I'm going to go get the ripper one. It's not really a gain. Uh, we're really just kind of trading across, <laughs> to be honest. What the... Backed right in there, didn't get stuck. Okay. That makes sense. The Ripper Plow is a little bit wider. Instead of being 1.9, this one is 1.9 and is 440. The Ripper is 2 meters wide and links directly on the back. And it means I can get into a little bit tighter places, it's not as long. And it being directly in the back, I know where I can be all the time because it's not, you know, going off the side or anything like that. So I think that is going to be my best bet for what I am going to attempt to do today. So we will sell you. Okay. Now I thought about getting this one, the John Deere, but it requires 250 horsepower and we don't have anything that is 250 horsepower. We can get the Salford. It's two meters. We can get the Amazon, but it's 22 grand. It requires 180. We're only getting a meter and I really am no good with that one. So we're going to go ahead and get this one. So we'll go with the Ripper Plow. I think it'll be a good addition for us. Plus it's low horsepower. So we know we can pull it. Uh, just requires one thing. Somebody that can actually drive would be optimal. <laughs> oh my god, what am I doing? Drive with a wheel out of it. There we go. Okay, so let's see if I can explain this the best I can. So we've got field two, okay? What I wanna do is bring it down to right about either here or continue one part down there. I think that would be very neat. It'd also be kinda cool if like the field is split uh, up and down but it'd be a pain in the ass to do anything with so I think we'll stop we're gonna have to have enough headland so probably right in here so yeah we're gonna expand this out it's gonna kind of broaden on this side a little bit probably up into here basically I want to double its size it's still a small field but it's not uh, I, I don't even remember how big that field is it's not well, it's, just, it's field one's twin, so let's uh, take a look. Yeah, field one. It is 0.38 heck acre. So let's say that one's a solid three. three. All I say is this 0.3. If we can get it to over half of a heck acre, then. I think we'll be doing pretty good. So yeah, we're just going to extend this out a little bit. Uh, this will be our time lapse for the day because this is going to take a while. And yeah, we'll get this done and hopefully everything is honky dory. So I will talk to everybody here in just a second.
Okay, that should do that. Let's see here what we've got. Okay, it's not showing needing plowed right there, so I think we did all right. Now, hold on a second. Field two is still showing that it doesn't need plowed. We're gonna hit it with the cultivator later anyway, so it'll be all right. Cool. Uh, I didn't want to throw away any of the grass, so I cut it really quick and then put it in the class. So we put the gla grass in the class. Because it's ass. No. No, we won't go there. So, yeah, today's episode is almost over. I'm going to give the cows some of that juicy, juicy grass. And we will be done for the day, I think. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do. I want to make some money, but... You know, sometimes you just can't. <laughs> uh, I think tomorrow's big project will be... Cutting more grass. And making our... Silage. Uh, the bales I have right now are actually to sell. So... Well, some of them. Not all of them. So we will be focused on making some silage bales, or not bales, uh, some silage in the pit. Whoa, 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 whoa. That is what we're going to plan on doing. Let's see here if I'm... Oop. Not today. I'll go around, I guess. I'm so bad at this. Uh, this is, again, my only complaint about this map is this little area. It's just so hard to get around in anything bigger than the Valmet. So, yeah. 
minutes. Hopefully I can get up here and turn. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Give this to them. And we'll give a little bit to the sheep. Unless these take it all. No, didn't take it all. Good. I wish we had a way to store it so I didn't lose it. It's so irritating. Okay, here we are at the sheep. They didn't take anything. Oh, we have some grass left up here. Okay, that's not horrible, I reckon. I think we've done all right for the day. Could have been a little bit better, but... Like I say, what I've done before was just such a horrible thing. That's why I'm redoing it and skipping and everything else. It was just... It, it was really bad. I mean, it was boring. So, hopefully this wasn't as boring. Uh, we've harvested a field, we expanded the field, and we took care of animals today. So, I think that is a very, very good day for us. Uh, sometimes, oh my god, I'm just bad. <laughs> So, yeah, I think there's only one other thing I want to do, mainly because I don't know where it is. We're going to hop in the Valmet, grab a bale of silage. They are fully fermented, so they are good to sell, and we're going to go try to sell one of them and see if we make any kind of money. So I'm just going to park the Deutz, the Dutz, is it Deutz or Dutz? Nobody ever told me. Park it there, and hop in the Valmet. And we'll grab a bale and try to figure out where they sell. Okay, so where do we sell this stuff at? Silage is... This one ain't it. Biogas plant. Which is... Over that away somewhere. Okay, this is a biogas plant. I don't know where the cell point is. So this might take a little bit of figuring. Unless it just takes like around here or something. Oh, it did. Only 300 bucks. Wow. Okay, so that's not worth selling like that. So we'll use them up. It might be a little bit better to sell the other way. So we will do that another day. So I'm gonna go put the Valmet up and we're gonna call it a day. Everybody, thank you very much for watching. If you have any comments, please let them down below. And if you like it, like it. If you dislike it, hit the dislike. And I guess I will see you guys in the next episode. Everybody have a good day.